in this video we're going to be processing a video of the sun with a program called pip. First off you want to have your files open and also you want to have pip open. Um, if you can see here, here's a video I took of the sun the other day. The file is almost 2.3 gigabytes. Uh, we're going to load it into pip, we're going to do some cropping on it and it's going to be a less of a file size and easier to manage. So with that, we're going to take our file and we're going to drag it on over to pip. It's going to load it and gives you a preview already. You can close this out. Now you got your file right here and then down here it says optimize options for whatever you took a video or a picture of. And in this case it's a solar lunar full disk which is checked so that's good. And then we go to the input options here. Um, binning was not used. Uh, DBear raw image files so if you use a color camera or one shot color camera you want to make sure that's checked since we didn't use that we're going to uncheck it um, nothing over here is pertinent for this video processing options um, if you use a color camera you can make it monochrome with this option here where it says convert to color so we're not going to do that um, over here stabilization with the objects that's it's a planet or you know the sun or moon and it's not surface obviously so we leave this green the by the way the green the green uh, lettering is for what the program is recommending to do so you can either choose to use that or not we're going to choose to use it in this case object detection it's going to detect the object uh, the minimum size and pixels is 50 uh, I don't necessarily know what that is and I don't use it but I just leave it how it is and it seems to come out fine. And the next option you want to center the object in each frame. Um, with that we can go to test options right here. So you can see that the sun is centered within the frame. It's 900 by 900 pixels and right here is about 450 and there is about 450 so it's centered so that's what the program is doing for you. You can close this out uh, the original image was a lot bigger, but I had already cropped it down. Uh, we can change this just so you can see what it does. So you can go 1200 by 1200. Do the test options, and you can see the f the frames a lot bigger by you know 300 pixels. But to save on uh, you know computer storage space, we're going to lower that. So I'm going to put it back down to 900. options and there it is so that's a, a better size for what I'm working with right now um, next you want to go to quality options uh, I choose to enable this because it's gonna it's gonna take apart your video and it's gonna order them into the best frames starting from 100% all the way down to however far it goes uh, everything else I we've checked total brightness I'm not really sure what that does, but uh, for this video, it, it works well. Uh, animation options, we're not doing animation. Output options, here you have the choice of how you want to output it. You do AVI, SEER, uh, Bitmap, Animated GIF, TIFF, FITS, or PNG. Uh, the original video was in the SEER format, so we're going to keep it in the SEER format. And over, and then over here you can choose what directory it outputs it in. I'm going to leave it in the default directory where the source video is from. It's going to create a subdirectory with PIPP underscore and then it's going to use, it's like the date and time that it appends to that. And they're due processing. Um, it, it already loaded the file up so it's ready to go and you just want to click the start processing button. And depending on you know the speed of your computer, that's going to depend on how long it takes to process the file. All right, so it finished. Um, it created this new directory right here. You can see the timestamp on there. The timestamp down here in my clock. Um, here's the original video or portion of it. 
So you can see it's a full screen display and just it shows the you know the video I took of the sun that day. And then here's the new video that Pip made. You can see it's cropped. It looks like it's shaking a little bit, but that's not an issue because when you load it into Registax, um, or not Registax, sorry, Auto Stacker, Auto Stacker will you know decide which ones are the best and will stack it accordingly. And that is it. And then the next step would be to load an Auto Stacker to stack it, and then you would process it in Registax. But for that, I'm going to make a separate video. And in case you guys are wondering, uh, the picture, the video of the sun that I took was from October 29th. Um, I used a Coronado Solar Max 3 70 millimeter telescope, the double stack, but it was just in single stack mode. I used a Ioptron CEM 60 telescope mount, and also the ZWO 174mm camera. So I hope this video helped you out in some sort of way. If you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Uh, and please like and subscribe. All right. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.